on our thinking caps. Jordan from the 403, are you there? You betcha. Jordan, uh, how long have you been listening to the show? I've uh, been listening to the show pretty much since it started, uh, on and off, but uh, I definitely watched the first episode. Oh, wow. Awesome. So you saw the Brian Alvey episode. Have you uh, had a favorite guest to date? Um, I would have to say that I enjoyed Annie Duke left uh, on Wednesday there. Annie Duke, pretty good, huh? She's like a. Yes, she's I like. That. She, I, I think she's the female version of Jason Calacanis. I think the, <laughs> the Annie Duke Calica Jason Calacanis ticket for office would be a great one. Uh, the no BS ticket. So uh, you're an entrepreneur from the 403. Where is the 403? Where do you hail from? Uh, 403 is Lethbridge, Alberta. Calgary? Or something like that? Uh, Alberta? Uh, yeah, yeah, Alberta. It's about two hours south of Calgary. Did you say about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's about two hours south of about? Calgary. About? <laughs> How far is it? Two hours. Wait, wait, is it exactly two hours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It's not like if it was two hours and ten minutes, it would be about two hours. We're trying to get you to say about again. <laughs> yeah, I know it's my coach does that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I love the about. We have two. We have two great developers uh, who've been working with Mahalo since the beginning, uh, Ray uh, and Sean. And every time they're on the call, they drop it about, and everybody like takes a drink in the dev meeting and makes fun of them. Um, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, but anyway, uh, what's your what's your question? Uh, what's your problem about? about? Uh, well, my problem uh, is legal issues. Mm. Um, I have I have a web design company. Um, this is actually my second web design company, and this issue goes back to my first one, um, and it was a client of the first company. Um, now we hadn't been in touch for about six, seven months, and he wanted me to do free updates on his website. He had like 25 uh, PDFs on his website, and he comes to me and says, Jordan, can you uh, put these into text for me? And I said, sure. So I gave him a quote, and uh, he said, well, I'm not going to pay for that. And I said, okay, well, I'm not going to do it then. Hmm. So he, uh, he filed a lawsuit against me. And um, then puts it in the uh, Lethbridge Herald and the Journal, and uh, just put it in a couple uh, different uh, newspaper stations here in our city. Wow! Really, just uh, defame me. And uh, my problem, I, I didn't, I wasn't too sure what avenue I should approach. Whether I should speak with a lawyer immediately. So wait a second. Let me uh, let me go back for a second. He yeah. paid you to do a job, and you didn't do it. I don't understand exactly no, that. No, no, I, I did the job completely, which is why final payment was received. Um, Got it. I, I, yeah, I've actually, I've since I uh, submitted this question to to you, um, I have gotten a little bit farther, and I actually uh, the paperwork that I ended up getting from the courthouse, uh, he filed this lawsuit against me uh, before the project even started, before his account was actually even created in my billing system. Wow. So he. He, he, you did the work for him, and then he came back and said, I wanted you to do more work, and you didn't do it, so therefore I'm suing you? Yeah, basically, I mean, he had paid in full, uh -huh. and we had signed off on the web property because he agreed that it was done. Right. And then a couple months later, he came back and said, you know, do these updates, and it was, it was easily 20 to 30 hours worth of updates. Right. And I gave him a quote for it, and he said, no, that's ridiculous. I'm not paying for that. And then at that time, that's when he... Uh, put the lawsuit into action right and came after me huh interesting um, so there, there's something fishy here so you're talking about 20 hours of work at a hundred dollars an hour two thousand dollars worth of work yep and yeah, I, I, I bill out at eighty dollars an hour right so we're talking about sixteen hundred dollars and he's filing a lawsuit for over sixteen hundred dollars it doesn't sound right I mean either uh, he's he's filing a lawsuit for the full project. Like he, uh. he put the article that he put in the newspaper uh, states that I never completed his website. I didn't provide him with the content management system. Nothing. Huh. So he's asking for a full refund on everything. Got it. Even though that hmm. you know he's he signed off on everything um, and provided final payment. Jag, you have any uh, insights into this? So does this yeah, Jordan? Does this person normally sue people? Uh, is there a history of that? Um, 
I'm not I'm not too sure. I mean, he is. They actually, his company just won uh, the Canadian Entre- Entrepreneur Award of the Year. Um, they're actually a pretty big company in uh, North America. But uh, in terms of them suing other people, I'm not I'm not a, I'm not sure of that. Hmm. Well, it sounds certainly uh, very suspicious from a reason behind it, because traditionally, I mean, a business wouldn't sue another business over that amount of money because the legal fees involved are just too and high. And the time, it's, yeah. it, it's something's incongruous here, yeah. uh, which means the person could be crazy uh, or there's something missing. Have you had a conversation with the person and said, is there a way we can resolve this like gentlemen and not be going wasting time in the newspapers because you've probably got other projects you've got to work on and he's, this person's got things they want to do with their Entrepreneur of the Year Award or whatever it is. I mean, th- did you even try to just put out an olive branch and say, hey, let's split the difference? I have tried contacting him, and he just told me to speak with his lawyer, hmm. um, which which is which is what I did. Um, and then I spoke. I ended up eventually speaking with the lawyer, um, and uh, they've recommended that I file my dispute notice hmm. and then countersue for uh, defamation of character. Yeah, I, certainly defamatory statements. Well, certainly the actions appear to be defamatory to you. Yeah. Something's not right, though. I, I, I think you, if this person won the Entrepreneur of the Year award, that, then they must have something going for them. I think we need to get this person on the phone is what has to happen. So I think if you get Alex to get him on the, this person on the phone, I'll talk to the two of you and just resolve it right here on This Week in Startups. Okay, we could do that. Yeah, I mean, I, I can resolve this issue very quickly if we get him on the phone because you both have much more important things to be doing <laughs> than haggling over such a trivial amount of money when the, you got the rest of your lives ahead of you. I mean, this is just nonsense on both parts. And you need to also maybe, when you have your contracts, make sure that if they're, I mean, you have contracts and you have uh, work specs and everything on there and you have a scope of work in, in your contracts? I do, yeah. And he signed off on all the scope of work and what would be done and what would be additional fees and everything? Absolutely, which is why final payment was made on the website. Wow. Because he, he agreed that everything was complete hmm. and final payment was made. So, ah, so you go, I mean, it's probably going to be small claims court. You may not even need to have a, a lawyer. So just no, it, it is small claims court. Yeah. Uh, like he's, he's suing me for uh, $7,250. Um, all right, so go to so you go to court and move on with your life. I mean, that's what I would do. We I had a similar yeah. issue in one of my businesses. Somebody sued us. It was ridiculous because they didn't do the work we asked them to do. We didn't pay them. They sued us. People were like, "Oh my God, you're got you know, twenty million dollars in venture capital, and you're gonna fight three thousand dollar charge or whatever it was." And we sent our VP of operations up, and we won in small claims court. Yeah. Yeah. And so I always feel like you know, if you go represent yourself. In small claims court, and you win, you win, you know, and okay. move on with your life. But I, don't get obsessive about it, because some people do get obsessive about these lawsuits, and you have something called an opportunity cost, uh, and you don't want to get all your time sucked up with this, because um, it just it's a it's a it's a waste of time in your life to have all this negativity. Yeah, waste of time is bad energy. Yeah, it's bad energy, and um, you know maybe you can. Uh, talk like a gentleman to the lawyer and say like what's wrong with your client we don't understand you know we did the best we could and maybe you'll get through to them if not you just go to the court and you just have them work it out and move on to your next client okay I always like to fight the good fight so like if this guy is disparaging you I would get three clients who you've done a great job for to r- just email them and say hey can you write up three great things about what we're you know what we're doing give me a testimonial I'll put it on the website and you can counter it with all the positivity. And then when the, when the journalists are doing these stories, you say, hey, here are the names of three people I've done work for. Here are their email addresses and phone numbers. They will vouch for my work. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I've done, actually. I've I revamped my landing page on my, web, on my website there, and I've got testimonials, voice testimonials, everything. So, Well, listen, yeah. you're, you're a big boy. You're in the service business. This is, comes with the territory. Sometimes you get, yeah. if you have clients, sometimes they're going to be pissed off. If you have partners, they can become pissed off. You got to deal with it. It sucks. Trust me. I've been. I had a federal lawsuit against me for trademarks, and you know, over a decade ago, I've had people tell me they were going to ruin my career. I mean, all kinds of threats of lawsuit. Koretsu Forum calling my venture capitalist, telling me they're going to sue them and me just a couple weeks ago. Don't let it 
bug you? That's a surprise. Yeah, no, I just, I, I wasn't sure, and there isn't really anybody. Lethbridge is a smaller community of 90,000 people, and there really isn't anybody uh, in the IT industry that I could go to and, and ask this kind of question. So I, I figured if I had the yeah. opportunity to ask somebody like you who, who is in a similar industry, um, yeah. that, that yeah. would be beneficial to me. It's a valid question. You got I, something else to add? I think that uh, Jason's right. You, you should move on. Uh, definitely don't ignore it. Get it to the closest, fastest possible end that you can, and just move on with it. Yeah. But don't don't let it sit there, and don't expect it to go away. You yeah. have to do something about yeah. it. And, you know, if you take the high ground, uh, you probably won't regret it. Yeah. So, you know, like for Koretsu Forum in that example, you followed the Koretsu Forum drama. I'm taking it, Jordan. Uh, and they could have just easily said, you know what, Jason has some great ideas. He, we obviously respect what he's done in the industry, and uh, he's a good-looking guy, and whatever they want, whatever, you know, throw out three compliments and say, but we have a different model. Nobody's ever complained about our model. Our customers seem to like it. Our angels seem to like it. So if he wants to put a different product in the market, we're interested to see if he can evolve our model. If they had done that, there would be no issue. There would have been no fight. There would have been no you know, controversy. So just keep it up on a high level. Don't, don't get down in the mud pit. Don't get into the details because you can't win. He said, yeah. she said, you won't win. High yeah, level. Exactly, yeah. uh, we, we do great work. Here are our clients who say we do great work. We're sorry they feel they didn't get their money's worth. We'll do whatever we can to try to resolve it with them. Short, sweet, to the point, move on to your next client. Okay. Rock on, Perfect. dude. All right, man. Keep your chin up. Thank you very much. Thanks.